right this is another one 2023 umai peter obi cannot stop me or Korocha. all right the news in detail senator rochas Okorocha has said that the unexpected defection of governor dave umai into the all progressive congress apc cannot intimidate him out of the 2023 presidential context if he decides to run. Speaking to journalists in Oweri, the former Imo state governor said that he has enough to offer the country if he decides to run for the presidency a fourth time. He spoke following a session with a group known as the Igbo for Rocha's Movement 2023 presidency visited him at his Oweri residence with a call on the former governor to contest the 2023 presidential election. Asked by journalists at the ceremony if the imminent defection of Umayi and suggestions that Mr. Peter Hobi would run in the context of Koroja said, Obi Umayi are welcomed the more the better chances of Igbo producing the president. We should stop talking about Igbo presidency. It is not the same as presidency of Igbo extraction. If we should remind people the southwest has gone, the south south and the north, so it is quite normal that it should be the turn of the southeast. The former governor said, The group which was led by their national coordinator, Jeff Uwoha, had charged Okorocha to run based on what it claimed as his past endeavors and, cap and capacity. Okorocha replying said, I am aware when it comes to sharing of positions in the zone is not balanced. If I must run, I will balance the unbalanced um, equation. If I must run, I will make education affordable to the common man. If I must run, I will create wealth. Looking at me, I am strong and capable. Okorocha had run in the past for the presidency three times on different platforms in, 20, in 2003. ANPP in 2007 action alliance and 2015 apc all right and a lot have been said so far on this where well, and a lot of people have like have been like hmm, well what is actually happening what are you talking about well it has been gathered and a lot of people have been agitating for the presidency coming out from the southeast well, in fact, uh, the Southeasterners have said it that if they are not going to give us the presidency come 2023, they should forget it. And if they believe that, okay, uh, what we deserve as Southeastern Easterners is the vice president that we don't want, they should just forget about it. In fact, a lot of them have been saying that it's either they give us, they give us this presidency it's either the presidency is given to the southeasterners or they just give us our behalfra that is what a lot of them have been saying right now well the thing is we are hoping but now even the so-called people that are supposed to lead and with what is being gathered so far right now according to what okorocha is saying he said if umayi tries to defect to another party that wouldn't even affect anything because nothing can distract his ambition of becoming the next president you can imagine what all sort of what is going to what is going on right now and a lot of people have been saying that well if the egos happens to win then life will be better that's what a lot of them have been saying that life will be better but the way we are seeing the whole thing right now is either they like it or not even if the egos win they should one thing is there should be unity amongst these people this is very important 
Yes, Umayi has said in his words that that a lot of people are saying that he is defecting to another party so that he will be able to get the ticket. He will be able to win an election so that he will have supporters. And he has been able to clear people that, see, it is not like that. Too. I am just defecting for defecting's sake. So everybody should just mind his or our own business. All these rumors that we've been hearing, a lot of people have been saying that hey, Umayi has defected to another party. He said it's not like that. You people should not even think about it. Say, in fact, he can even decide to say, okay, come 2023, he's not even, he's, he's resigning as a politician. So what are we now talking about? That he has said so far, but though, this is Nigeria, anything can happen. You can say something, all in the name of trying to make people to overlook what had been done in the recent. And all these people have been saying that, come on, Umayi, you can tell that to the kids. We are not kids here. You can tell that to the kids, that we know your plans. And your plans is for you to defect, since you have defected to the APC right now, so that you will have supporters. Because you, be, you believe that APC are ruling, so you want to join the ruling team. You want to join the winning team. And it will work for you. And Okoracha has said that it will not even work for both himself, both Umayi and Peter Obi right now. That any which way, any way they want to carry and go, that he, Okoracha, has all the capability to make, to, to be a president and to make people happy that he understands he knows all the rules and regulations he knows what the people want that he has he has been contesting before now but since he have been he has not won this time around he will still contest nobody will stop him not even Umayi will stop him not even the defection of Umayi will stop him that was what Okorocha has said so far well the thing is let all angst be kept on deck we are watching. We are waiting. As it is, 2023 is just by the corner. Yes, 2023 is just by the corner. So let's see what happens. A lot of people have said a lot of things concerning the Igbo presidency. We said, Okorocha is saying, this time around, you people should just leave it for me. If anybody likes to defect, if he likes, let him defect to any party he wants. But what will be, will be. We are here waiting for them. Yes. The presidency belongs to Ross. But my own is, <laughs> this set of people should just take it very easy. They should take care and they should be careful about their decisions. Because a lot of people are watching. You have a lot of supporters. These things shouldn't be a thing of do or die. And that is what I have to say right now. Okay. All right. That is it, my people, on this one. Me, well, let me have more take from you on this. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.